James Hamilton for MMA UK joined on the, the Skype machine by Jordan Strong. Thanks very much for giving us some time, mate. I know obviously it's fight week for you. Yeah, hassle, mate. Thanks for having me. No, no, a pleasure, mate. So, um, just for anybody watching the interview, uh, you're fighting this Saturday uh, down at Cage Warriors Academy in Wales, and you're fighting against Dale McRae. Um, so you, you finished uh, finished your sparring today, I believe, yeah. Um, it was Monday, mate. Monday, Monday was it? So just taking over on there until Saturday. And and how's how's everything been in the lead up to this fight? Obviously, I know you've. Uh, everything's been it's been good. It's my camp kind of started. It is. Start of Chrissy, so it's it's kind of it's been about eight or nine weeks now, so kind of just I'm ready to fight now. Do you know what I mean? So it's been good, but um, good training every week, enjoying it. So it's the main thing. And would you normally sort of have as long a camp as that, or did it? Is it just the way the care? Not failed? really. To be honest, like, the last couple of years have been a bit of a nightmare. We work and get into train. I've not been active anywhere near as active as I've wanted mm-hmm. to be. Because my last three fights have been like. It's weird that it's been in the same day, a year, uh, a year in advance. So, um, but it's I don't really mind. I could I could fight in four week or five week. It's just the weight it comes into, whatever weight it is. And uh, how frustrating is something actually when I was I was talking to Chris, he mentioned that um, you haven't been as active in, in terms of MMA as you'd have liked to be. Um, how how frustrating is that for you? Just be outside things like work and all that that are influencing how much potentially you're getting to fight in mixed martial arts. Yeah, yeah as, um, it's just, as it, I've, my, full, my job kind of was my priority because you need to pay mm. the bills and stuff. But it's frustrating because there people that started the same time as I've started and maybe had seven or eight more fights than me. But experience-wise, it doesn't really take into account. But it is frustrating because I've been wanting to fight, but like even after a few injuries as well. But... Um, just way work and stuff, and like I can still make it, but sometimes I'm leaving the house at half six and I'm getting back in at six, and I just can't be out training. So, um, and I'm knackered, so it's it's a bit of a nightmare sometimes with that. But uh, when I do find the time, obviously I would like to fight. I want to be a lot more active this year, um, right. and get as much more experience in as I can. And the other thing I think for the outside looking, and obviously I've seen you fight, and I know how how guys speak about you that train with you, um, and it seems like you've got you've got all the talent in the world no. to potentially really kick on and do something. So when you see like for example, obviously Paul's in the UFC, and you see what happened with with Chris went down to Newcastle, and no. done, does that sort of make you think as well that that this is potentially as your your career going forward? I uh, definitely, obviously, with Paul, who started at the, the UFC and now Chris is making a name for himself on Bellator, Chris Duncan at the weekend in Bellator as well. So, got a lot of big guys coming through Scott Malone and Cage Warrior. So, there are a lot of guys for the Scottish scene. It's, it's, it's good because it's kind of bringing it to the up and coming guys, mm-hmm. the amateur scene here and pro scene. But, um, uh, it's just frustrating. but this, I've kind of made a few changes this year, so hopefully you get four or five fights in this year. And it was one of the changes of you. Have you sort of changed your job? No, I've still got the same job, but um, I'm working on that now. I've been doing that's another thing. I've been working full time. I've been doing a personal training course, and I've been trying to do a fight, get a fight camp in as well. But this fight camp's been good because I nearly finished it uh, just before. Oh, well, I'm nearly finished it now, but. Uh, I've still managed to get a good full camp in, so it's something I would like to do, move into personal training and stuff, to kind of, uh, it suits me, I've, fitness has always been something I've been into, but as well, it kind of suits me with, like, MMA and that as well, so I'll wait and see what happens. Yeah, and, and with regards to the fight, obviously, this Saturday, it's Cage Warriors Academy of Wales, and right. effectively, that's a, it, it's kind of a window into Cage Warriors, isn't it? It's a, ah, it's, it's, it's a, no, oh, sorry, on you go. On you go. It's, it's, it's a decent show, obviously, for amateurs to get their name out there as well. So I we won't go down Saturday and see what it's like. And with regards to the fight down in Wales, um, is this you're just going down to fight the once? Is there going to be anything, I, obviously, if you uh, get there? I don't think so. I think it's just um, just a one time. But I know they have different events like in Liverpool and stuff, mm-hmm. is, which would probably be a bit closer. But um, no, it's just a one off fight, I think. And just for you yourself, in terms of the last time you were actually 
you were actually in the cage competing in the I guess the Jordan we're going to see uh, this Saturday. How much have you developed as a as a fighter in that time? Have you managed to make any uh, big strides since the last time you were yeah, in there? Well, even though it's it's been a year, so it's been a bit a long bit of time. Even though I've not had um, I couldn't like train consecutively to have a camp. I've still been training uh, and getting better through the year. So I see myself getting better every every, every day. But from from this year to last year, I'm I'm um, a lot better fighter and just working on jiu-jitsu, striking, wrestling, everything. It just kind of comes together. So I'm looking forward to it and see how I perform this Saturday. And the other thing is we'll come out coming out of the hit squad. Obviously having the likes of Chris and that in there, how how much is that helping you as well? Having guys like Chris and uh, obviously Paul and and other guys that are in the gym around their training day in day out. It's good because I've got for amateur level there are, there are guys there are about f- a good five or six guys around about my weight, so I've always got good training in. Um, even with Chris, Chris is always help. Chris is roughly my weight as well, and I've always been he's been one of my main training partners as well. He's helped me out a lot and. He's kicked my cunt in a few times as well, so I'm not going to get any harder. Oh, I don't reckon I'm going to get any harder um, mm. fights and some of the spars you get in the gym as well. So it's good for the guy, guys like that. We all kind of help each other out, but obviously with Chris and Paul and stuff, seeing how far you can go in, it kind of motivates everybody else to get their finger out and see what we can go with. And, and just uh, something Chris had said as well, I think he described you as a bit of a nightmare as well, uh, to spar <laughs> with, that is nothing else just to spar with, so I'm, I'm guessing that's high praise coming from Chris, I guess. That's it, uh, well, um, obviously, I don't, I don't, I like, um, I hear the praise off them all, but I try and not take too much of it, because I've still got a lot, I've, I've not been active <laughs> enough, so uh, it's good to hear things like that as well, but I know, I know my, uh, I'm no bone smoke up mass, but I know how like, how far I could go myself if I really put mass um, put mass in gear. So I wait and see what happens. But with all the guys in the gym, it's I would say it's the best gym in Scotland and as well. With Brian, um, all the different just it's just kind of you're always the cha- the training's always changing. It's not as if you're sticking to the same things all the time. We've got uh, Thai boxing um, coach Steve Houston and as well. We've got Finn that does the wrestling. Uh, James Gallagher as well. Brian's brother. He's been helping me out a lot. Is and all the guys help each other out, so it's it's a brilliant gym. So one of the things as well, when you have got a tight knit gym like the Hit Squad, when one of the guys for the gym, like for example, just using Chris again, you'll be thinking yeah. I'm talking about him all the time. But when they get a massive win like that, and you've got a fight coming up right after it, is it is it kind of motivating you as well, and it just gets you gets you ready for your fight? I definitely after obviously um at Chris Ray Chris's fight last week. No, a couple of weeks back. Um, Aye, two weeks. Uh, with, with the fans and that, you could hear everybody. You could get some uh, atmosphere there as well. And it was a brilliant win for him. So it kind of gives everybody else a wee buzz as well. And I'm looking forward to getting in there as well. Uh, and do, just one thing, we've obviously spoken a wee bit about uh, obviously balance and work and fighting. It's, a, it's something I always like to get a, get a bit of insight off fighters about just... For anybody maybe watching this, it isn't a fighter and wants to know what it's like being an amateur fighter, balancing work, training, family, everything else. How, how difficult is that um, for you as a fighter? It's just my kind of job. So I've, I've been fitting kitchens for the last few years. So uh, I'm up and down stairs every day, taking units up, doing written kitchens. Out, and you're not, you're, you don't really get a minute, you're non stop all day. And the time I finish work, like you've planned to deplete all your energy. So for then again, a like hard, hard sparring and training. It is hard, but it isn't, if, if you don't love it, you, you couldn't really do it. You need to kind of, you need to love it to do it to push yourself. So that's kind of been an obstacle in the way the last couple of years. But uh, I just, I, it's, even if I'm if I stay off training like a month or so, like and I see if Dale's staying well in that, I get a wee bit frustrated because I want to be in there and I want to be fighting and stuff as well. And I know like when. The guys, like when it comes for me to fight, everybody's there helping me, and sometimes I can be in, which frustrates me a lot as well. Yeah. Uh, we, we we work is uh, it's, it's hard, you know what I mean? But yeah, you need to do it, so no point in moaning about it. And and those sort of frustrations and that is that is that something you might be looking to take out in your opponent on Saturday? I'll wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really get frustrated a lot. It's 
once uh, once once I'm at the gym, I'm fine. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes mm-hmm. just dragging me there, but once I'm at the gym, I can like I'm only maybe getting maybe sixty percent of my potential because obviously like, I'm running a bit daft all day, so uh, it's it is hard, but it's I'm enjoying it. Do you know what I mean? So I'll wait and see what happens. No, that's perfect. Well, listen, I won't take up too much more of your time, Jordan. Obviously, thanks for thanks for coming on. I know we had a wee bit of technical issues at the start, but because I'm, I'm no fucking new skater for, so <laughs> I don't know how to start it up. But I appreciate you hanging on, mate. No, no, no problem at all, mate. Well, listen, uh, obviously, best of luck down in Wales on Saturday, and uh, I'm sure we'll speak to you again soon, mate. Yeah, so mate, bang on. Cheers. Right, cheers. Thanks, Jordan. See you later, mate.